Did I hit you? I don't think I hit you. Where are you going? Why are you going way over there? I don't wanna... Hey everybody, the Lord is back, and we're gonna build, and stuff, and do stuff. Okay. Well, I've just spent the last, like, hour, or two hours, or maybe four hours, or three hours, or something like that. I've really lost count because I haven't been paying attention. And I've been collecting resources, so most of the stacks behind me, of these bookshelves, or whatever they're called, storage crates, are either full, or at least half full, or have a whole bunch of stuff in them. So... Uh, we're gonna see what we can do if I can get my camera back in where it needs to belong and there's a Fiomio wandering around out front which I don't really need yet because I don't need its poo I don't need the poo okay so what I know we need to do is get ourselves a furnace going because we need to have some metal tools so in case I need to go actually get some more things it's a heck of a lot easier than doing it with these stone pieces of garbage I know I need some wood. Uh, what do I need for that? Let's see. There. I only need one. <laughs> and then I can put it all back away. Actually, probably not. Ooh, I got a level. I've been pushing my fortitude up because of all this blasted cold. Um, let's just put it in wait. I don't need any more engrams right now. Okay, so we've got ourselves a Finding Forge. Put the stone away for the moment. Um, what else do we need today? The Refining Forge. We need to put in a bookshelf. Thatch and wood. Because once I actually start going out and hunting down these drops... Um, wait. Is that all I needed? I think that was all I needed. Craftables. Books. Bookstore. Yay. And let's see. Let's put our forge there, bookshelf there, and feeding drop there. Okay. Well, we can put a forge in this corner over here. Right next. Actually, that's good. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Eh. Right there. Put a forge there. And let's... Cut rid of that, grab the meat. Uh, I don't need wood, I want the metal. Where's that metal? Metal, metal, metal. Get seven metal out of that, maybe we can get something. At least make a hatchet or something so it makes this much easier to pick. And light. Let that cook. Okay. Now we got a bookshelf we can put down. Let's just put that in the corner here. And so once we go get some blueprints, we'll have somewhere to put it. And... I need to make a foundation for outside. Okay. Let's just go outside and stick it on this side. You can always move it later. Eh. There we go. And... Let's put... Feeding trough on that. Okay, let's go put away the stuff inside and grab all of the foods off of various animals and just stick them all in there. And I don't have to worry about it so much. Really can't wait until I get a saddle for that Inclosaur. Make my life so much easier gathering things. Craft all the things! Okay, we got a preserving bin, which we can... Eh, no, I don't want the craftable button. Put that in there. Hmm. I'm running out of rooms to put things. Eh. There we go. Egg. Which I don't... I know I don't have any spark powder in there, but whatever. Egg. That'll last like seven days without the spark powder. Actually, I should probably... I really don't feel like dealing with it, so I'll put all the berries outside. New inch, inch. Yeah, it's rare crap. Fiber and stone. This isn't just an episode of me like 
wandering around inside my base the entire time. That would be that would be really boring. Berries. Okay. Uh, I wish I was twenty-five. Ooh. I wish I was higher than twenty-five. That's a gold one. <laughs> Dang it. I'm gonna need to build this out eventually. Okay, well, I guess I could do that. Make a whole bunch of thatch and build that out and make another room here. Well, we're back and I can barely move, but we've got enough stuff. Um, I think I'll put the door like... Hmm. Just put the door in the corner here. Right next to that other... Right next... Wait, because we got that bin on the other side. Okay. So I guess I'll put the door right in the middle. And door. Okay. Oop. Ooh, yay, I can move better now. Yay. And let's put a foundation. Okay, now all the walls. And get ourselves another room that we can, like, build out and be the production area or something. I didn't think too much about this, but hey, they're actually still able to get... Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if they'd be able to feed out of the trough if it was still inside or not. Um, personally, I've never really used these troughs very much because... Well, I just keep all the food on... Oops, I'm missing one wall. Dang it. Um, usually I just keep all the um, food on the animals, and I have like a brontosaurus or something that just like picks a crap load of berries. Like one tail swipe will wipe out, and I'll get like several thousand berries. So I don't have to deal with it. Um, you know what, let's just use the rest of it and make a whole bunch of walls. That way we don't have to worry about it later. I can throw them in my spare room. Or my spare treasure trove thingy. And what else do we need after that? We got mortars and pestles. We got everything else we need for now. It looks like the next thing to do is just go level up and get ourselves some more materials. Well, I found this RG and I've decided why not? Let's try it. Oh, and wow, I knocked it out in two hits. Cool. It's only level 20, but hey, in the long run, it might help. Um, let's put about half our meat on there, and it should be fairly good. Decently taming. Um, ooh, dodo. I can kill dodos while I'm waiting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but now we got an Argentavis down. Better than I expected it to be. Hello, Dodo. Thank you for your meats. Needed that. Um, more Dodo. You said get me something, I guess. Eh. Come here. Die, Dodo. Level 60. I would go for that trilobite, but I don't have a spear on me at the moment. Oh. Hi, Dilophosaurus. Okay. <clears throat> well, you know what? Well, who are you? We could end up with a Pablo to- ooh. Did I hit you? I don't think I hit you. Where are you going? Why are you going way over there? I don't wanna... Okay, well... Screw you too. Okay. Um, at least I have an Argentavis. And the Argentavis is up! What should I name her? Him? It? I don't even know if it's a girl or boy. Um. How about? Steven. Where are you, Steven? Are you even fem? Oh, female. Hmm. How about then? Stevet. Stevet. Okay. 
That would be Stivet now. What are you anyway? I didn't even look at your... 29. <laughs> Low level, but it works. Yeah, you can keep the 8 meat on you. I want the rest of it. That way I can eat it. I don't need that. This seems like a really stupid idea, but it might be well worth it in the long run. If I can trank this bugger. He was over here like a minute ago. So if he comes back over here, then... Maybe we can get a shot off on him and get him stuck on a cliff. And down him. <clears throat> Might get us something actually useful really quick. Our compie's following me a minute ago. Oh, there's one. You're just spinning in circles, dude. Get over here. Well, he got a little bit closer, so maybe I can hit him with a normal arrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got him. Come on, dude. Oh, I thought we got him. I was following something else. I don't know where those are landing at all. Oh, shoot. That's not going to end well for the bird. Come on. Follow me. Oh. Got him. Uh, whistle passive. Come here. Come here. Yes. Thank you. Ha! Oh, yeah. Um, tranquilizers. Oh, please don't do what I think you're doing. Oh, God. Where'd you go? Oh, crap. Ooh, yay. You're stuck again. Well, who knows? I'll just throw all my arrows into him, and... If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and I'll run like a bitch. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, attack my target. Stupid turtle. Stupid, stupid, stupid turtle. Stupid turtle. Ah, that was a huge pain in the butt. Gah. I hate you so much, you... I'm gonna eat you now. Should have waited until that blasted thing knocked, the, killed the turtle. I could have had a Spinosaurus. Ah, that would have been amazing at this level. I've only got like seven, eight shots left. I gotta head back to base. Well, I was running back and I managed to hit this guy in the face once and he passed out just because I was making pot shots, but hey, I'll take it. Um, give me a bunch of raw meat there. I really don't care what level he tames out to be just because he's level 12 to begin with, but it's a start and it may be able to help in the long run. Once I level him up a few times, get a saddle for him, run him around a couple times, kill a few things, and... At least you'll get me from point A to point B pretty quickly. <laughs>
probably just let him passively regenerate some hell or passively generate some levels for a while and we're doing other things until we can get a saddle for him. Then we can go hunt around for blue drops or well, currently green drops, but it'll be blue by the time I get a get a saddle. So Oh, there's like three of those guys over there. Plus a okay. Hey, it's gonna take a while. Eat. 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 Okay. Um, so I'll get him back to base. We'll go over the stats and everything for both these two, and maybe I'll. Well, I'll have to make some more tranks before I can do anything else. So once I get back to base, we'll see what we can do. So I wanted to take a moment when now that I got back to base and talk about bird pathing. You know, on my my first my very first episode of YouTubing, um, I showcased one of one of um, my other bases I did with my friend, and um, well, they had like Pablo the Thirteenth, Pablo the Twelfth. That's primarily because the original first five Pablos that I had, like I I killed them so quickly because every time they were on follow. I was trying to level him up, I put him on follow, and then I'd try to shoot something with a crossbow, and the last second, Pablo would dive in front of it, and I'd clip his wing and kill him instantly. Um, so yeah, I walk around, and I'm, I'm just walking around, and you can see how they, like, dive in front of you. It is highly obnoxious, and I wish they would fix this, but it's just ridiculous how many thing, or how many times I've killed these things, where as soon as I stop, they'll just, like, like crawl up my butthole. And, like, they'll start pushing you around, like he was doing when I first started this. He, he'd just, like, shove me across the uh, across the ground. It's just ridiculous. And some of these, as soon as you stop, and like, tell them to stop moving. Okay, he didn't do it, but um, they'll search for a place to land. Now, luckily, there's one, because it's so open right here, there's one right here. But I've seen them, like, take off, and I mean, like, on the other side of the map type of... Like land on top of the, like the clearing out there, like where the end of my pickaxe is, like at the very the very horizon. They just like take off and like you'll find them like a mile away somewhere. It's ridiculous. But anyway, now that we got back to base, got Pablo. He's only got like eighteen or one hundred and eighty health, which we need to get boosted up. Because when these things level up, pass it or level up in the wild, they only level like melee damage and a little bit of stamina. And they keep like base level health. You get like a hundred level 160 or like 120 friggin. I always call them Pablos now, um, since I've had so many of or I've used so many of them in other games. But the Pterodons, if you have them you catch like a hundred level 120, their health will still be at 180. Yeah, it'll scale better, but it's like it. Um, but. I pumped this guy up about five levels already just because he killed that one or killed the one Spinosaurus that we ran into and he got like five level or four levels from that. Well that was a really stupid idea. Dilophosaurus. Yeah, all of you. Come back over here. I need you back over here. All of you. Over here. And this is why I need to put walls up. Okay, you guys, drop on the ground, right there, right there. Ooh, yeah, you actually did what it asked you to. Okay. Um, back to base. We got everything sorted out, and maybe we'll probably just call an episode here, and next episode, maybe I'll get some levels in between, and we can start building walls or something, keep these other dinosaurs out. But now we've got a couple of flyers, maybe we can get some... I'll try to get these saddles for these guys. I need to get a saddle for this Ankylosaurus so I can get some berries and take out some of these rocks a little bit more effectively. So, we'll be back. Let's warm up, and Lord Tyson has spoken.